Hello and welcome here to Talk SCP and welcome back to the channel here today guys and welcome to the preview of the Joan Gamba Trophy match which will be taking place tomorrow night in Barcelona and it will be a very, very special occasion indeed. We will be welcoming the Brazilian side Chapecoense and it will be a very emotional night for a number of reasons and it will be a big, big occasion at the Camp Nou tomorrow night. The game kicks off at 8.30 local time. You can see the time here where you'll be living and where you can catch the game because like I say, this is a great match. I feel every single season there's often a game in the Joan Gamba Trophy, which is a very, very prestigious uh, trophy, I believe. Not you're not in terms of the football world, but because of the, the, where it comes from. I'm going to explain a little bit in a bit of detail about Joan Gamba himself in just a minute. But we always seem to invite teams with a little bit of an emotional connection, and certainly this game will be one of the most emotional ever at the camp now, welcoming Chapecoense after the, the terrible disaster that happened at the end of last year on their part. I'll be coming on to that very, very shortly as well. But just a bit of background knowledge on Joan Gamba himself and why the trophy is named after him and why we often celebrate the life of him is because he is actually the founder of the club we all love. He founded Barcelona back a long, long time ago in 1899. And basically what Joan Gamba did, he was originally from Switzerland and he actually was used to be known by Hans Max Gamba. And what he did was he changed his name so it was easier to pronounce in Catalan. He felt like it would be more appealing to the Catalan people if he was called Joan Gamper, so that's what they've done. And basically, he placed an advert in the local paper saying of his wish to, to to sort of build and create a football club. And what are we left with now? It's just incredible, really, when you think back of, of how clubs were formed, how we were formed. And this man was a massive, massive part behind building what we are today. And it would be great, really, if he could see what we've become, because he's gone from building such a small team with a little bit of an idea behind it, and it's grown into a massive flame. And it's a fantastic football club that we are today, one of the world's elite, down to the start from this man. So that's why we compete in this trophy, that's why it's named after him, and that is certainly why we celebrate the life and what he gave us, Joan Gamba himself. But like I say, coming on to Chapecoense, it's an emotional occasion. I think everything they've been through in the past year, you know, you want to support them, you want to give them every possible little bit of help that we can. So that's why we've invited them to take part in the Joan Gamba trophy, just to give them a bit of coverage, give them a game, and just to celebrate, you know, the football life and happy to accept them to the camp now for the occasion that is going to be on Monday evening. Just to take you back to those tragic scenes which took place in November 2016. Lamia Flight 2933 was on flight in Colombia at the time. They were actually heading to a very, very big match in their history in the Copa Sudamerica finals against Atletico Nacional, which was later on awarded to them by default. They were given the trophy, which was a, a great show of respect there from both teams. But they were on their way to that flight and the plane suffered a crash. Very, very tragic incident, killing 71 of the 77 people that were on board the aeroplane. Um, there was players on board, coaching staff, there was obviously the, the flight pilots, the deck, there were journalists on board as well, and guests as well, and a lot of them were killed in this disaster. Only three players actually survived the crash, and it's very, very interesting as well, because of those three players, one of them is actually back in training. Alan Rushnell, he is back in training, and it is possible that he could play in the Joan Gamba trophy tomorrow night and what an occasion that would be if he could get on the pitch for a few minutes at the camp now you would imagine the applause the atmosphere it'll be fantastic if we can support some of these guys uh, Jackson Fullman was one of the other survivors and Neto as well those three were the survivors but many many killed in what was a tragic accident back in November and when it happened it was all over the news it was widely reported all over the world as the disaster that it was and the football world came together you know you saw it at El Clasico there was a big banner. There was a lot of support for Chapecoense right throughout the football world and the world in general, but apparently I just want to read out some words from the Chapecoense president who came out uh, just a few months ago with a few words. Um, David Daenerys, is, his name was, and he actually came out and said that only Barcelona were the only team that offered us financial you know, gain. They were the only, pl the only club to make a donation to our club, and he said as soon as we were offered the opportunity to play in the Jean Gamper Trophy, we wanted to take it. We wanted to play in this and we were so grateful for the help that we received from Barcelona and they actually believe that we were the club that helped them most throughout this very difficult time for them. So that's great. You know, if we can get, do something good, if we can put ourselves in the position to help someone else out too, who clearly need help, you know, there was a lot of, of offers from around the world, from a number of different teams to loan them players and different things like that and they've certainly tried to build themselves back up. They went back to Brazil, they had a match in honour of all the people that had died and it was fantastic. They 
were all gathered there to pay their respects. And I really do admire what Chapman Coense are trying to do. And I really do hope that tomorrow night they can receive fantastic ovations and it can be a great night of celebration and happiness for a team that has been so much through so much in recent times. So, of course, tomorrow it's about the football. It's about building on, you know, trying to get that match fitness up there and trying to win the game, of course. But, but what you want to do tomorrow is celebrate a fantastic football club and try and give them as much support as is possible. But, of course, we do have a match to play and Valverde will be hoping to trust in his big names tomorrow. There will only be two players who will miss out from tomorrow's squad and that will be Andre Gomez and Thomas Vermaelen. Those two players picked up minor injuries in our sort of practice match against Gymnastique de Tarragona just a few days ago. Both of those are only expected to be minor injuries, so both of those players should be returned to full training very, very soon. But apart from that, Valverde has a, a, an entire squad to pick from. If I was to pick out one player who I would like to see get some minutes, and also the player who didn't get his first minutes of the season uh, just a few days ago in that practice match, it would be Gerard Delafeo. I think he needs some minutes on the pitch. He needs some time to adapt to his new surroundings, of course. Of course, he came through the Barcelona system. He understands the style of play but what he does need now is to play with his teammates. He needs to get that match fitness, that match sharpness. He, he was very, very unlucky to miss out on the US tour because of injury. And I felt as well that Andre Gomez really could have done with some minutes as well. So it's a real shame that he's out injured at the moment. And then, of course, there is possible, there was a lot of rumours going around at the moment, it is possible that a new signing could be announced possibly before the Jean Gamper Trophy, either maybe tonight or tomorrow morning, or actually in the build-up to the game. Or there is another possibility that a new signing could be announced possibly at half time during that game. That's what's coming out of the local papers in Spain. None of them seem too certain about it. I don't think any of them are sort of gambling on saying there definitely will be an announcement, but we do expect some sort of announcement on new signings very, very soon. The season is very, very close. This is our last pre-season match of the summer before our real season starts. The Spanish Super Cup will take place at the Camp Nou a week today. That'll be next Sunday against Real Madrid in the first leg of that. They also have the European Super Cup against Man United coming up as well. They'll play that match on Tuesday, so we will get a day extra rest uh, from them. And obviously they play in a competitive match, whereas Juarez is still very much a pre-season friendly. But like I say, today, you know, we're looking at the game, but tomorrow it'll be out on the pitch. The players will be there. I expect the camp now to be pretty full. It usually is for the Gamba games. Like I say, it's usually a great occasion. I mentioned before that I went to the AC Milan game when Ronald Ibrio returned. That was quite emotional as well. Well, actually, you know, seeing him back at the camp now, once again, he did a lap of honour and things like that. And certainly I would expect tomorrow night the atmosphere to be good. You know, Camp Coense will certainly be greeted by the camp now faithful and they will be given all the support that they will need. And I hope it's a really great occasion for them because, like I say, I really do think they deserve it. And I certainly hope that tomorrow night we can give our players some important minutes. Once again, keep that confidence going. Hopefully we can get the win. But of course, you know, if Camp Coense score, if they win the game, we're not going to begrudge them that given what's going on. But certainly tomorrow night, it's going to be a good game. I'm excited for it. You know, watching Barcelona back at the camp now is something that we've waited all summer for. You know, we're back from the USA now. We're back in Spain and we're certainly getting ready for the season to kick off and certainly getting ready now to, you know, take on the big games. That game against Real Madrid is very, very close now. We need to be getting some signings in. We need to be signing our players and moving quickly. We cannot afford to hang around any longer waiting to get things over the line. If it's an extra 10 million, just pay it. We need to get the players in now. We need to start integrating them into our squad because you don't want to get players in right at the end of the month you know you don't want them missing the first few games of the season and then when they come in they've got to adapt they've got to settle into the dressing room they've got to get themselves you know a home they've got to situate themselves in Barcelona so it's a very big transition when you move to a club certainly from a different country you know the likes of Dembele possibly coming in Coutinho as well they're going to need time to adapt so we need to give them all the time possible to settle into their new club and we need to get them in as soon as we possibly can so guys I'm very very interested to hear your thoughts on the game you know what are you expecting to see from Barcelona tomorrow night what sort of lineup do you expect Valverde to put out there I think he'll try and line up pretty strong we'll see Lionel Messi we'll see Luis Suarez and Iniesta as well I would have thought we'll see all the big names tomorrow because like I say this is our last preseason game now we should be hitting the big notes we should be fresh we should be ready all the players should be fit and ready to go for the new season so leave your score predictions down below guys your lineup predictions I will see you very very soon what I will be doing of course a review of that game 
I'll be letting you know what I thought of the game, how it went, and what we can look forward to in the Super Cup. And I will have lots of videos as well coming up in the week to come, looking ahead to that very, very important Super Cup match against Real Madrid. Yet another El Clasico to look forward to. Enjoy the game tomorrow, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you very, very soon. But until then, as always, Vesca, El Barça. Barça.